Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Well, good evening from the CJM Liturgy Shack. Um, this is the first in a series of talks about the new mass translation from a musician's perspective. And the first thing I want to talk about tonight is the Gloria. So in the Gloria, we get uh, a different straight away. We get uh, this first section of praise to God. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. And um, it echoes beautifully the Latin, uh, is a more accurate translation of the Latin, uh, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. So you can see the rhythm of the, uh, of the words and the translation is a lot more accurate than it was um, before. Um, and uh, it's a challenge for musicians because essentially it's prose and uh, not set in a metrical form. So we have to work with the words very carefully and not make them fit our music. You know, rather the music's got to be um, appropriate for the words. And of course, we're not changing the words at all. Um, we can maybe use repeating phrases um, where they don't change the sense of the word at all. Um, but all that will be clarified by the Bishop's Conference, uh, who have a panel to uh, judge whether you've been faithful to the words or not. So I'm going to share with you two Mass settings tonight, two very different approaches to this text. So essentially, um, the way um, you can either through compose, which means you start um, with the glory to God in the highest and peace to people of goodwill, um, or you can uh, do as I've done, use a, a little refrain to come in between the sections of praise, petition and praise. Um, so for instance in the Mass of St Luke we have this, uh, this refrain. Gloria in excelsis Dei. First section would start, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. And that little musical motif comes in uh, over and over, time and time again in the setting and in different uh, parts of the setting in the Holy Holy and the Memorial Acclamations. So you get this da, 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 with the rising bass line. Um, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. So you get the idea on the first part. Very up, very praisey, very suited uh, to the piano, this setting. And then we move into the second section. Um, and after we've gone... Um, uh, for the um, Lord G Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. Then we move into this um, litany prayer, really. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. And I'm hearing um, perhaps the choir uh, initially. I mean, it'd be great if if everyone sang everything in the setting. That's the that's the utopia. But you know, if you've got a strong choir, they could introduce this by singing. Uh, um, um, Lord Jesus Christ, you you take you take away the sins of the world, and then. Have mercy on us, the assembly comes in. Have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, assembly. Receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. So again, the second section's got a really different feel to the first part. 
Um, and then in the third section, again, we move back into praise. Um, For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Um, so, you know, that's one <coughs> approach to the uh, to the Gloria uh, that you might want to consider, especially if you've got a piano-based liturgy or an organ-based liturgy, then it really lends itself to that kind of those uh, uh, rising harmonies. Um, but equally, you know, the guitar can accompany that uh, as well. The second, that's the Mass of St. Luke. Uh, the second settings from uh, the Mass of St. Bernadette and uh, is is totally different really it's uh, a calypso setting and calypso like chant is very good for setting long uh, long lines of words uh, to a musical form so uh, it goes something like this Glory to God in the highest, and honor, peace to people of goodwill. First section. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, oh God, different chord in there to break it up. Holy Father, we give you thanks for your great glory. Refrain again. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. So you get the idea. Um, so two very different uh, approaches to the Gloria, and what one of the lovely things about setting the Gloria first is that a lot of the motifs that you write in there, musical motifs, can be lifted and put into other sections, appropriate sections of the of the liturgy, um, and it just helps it to hold together as a as a unity. Um, a whole setting uh, that isn't just five pieces that uh, bear no resemblance to each other, different keys, different time signatures, different feels, um, but it starts to become a, oh yes, the holy holy and the glory, they must go together because you can hear these musical phrases repeating over and over again. So, next time we'll maybe talk about the uh, the penitential act or the penitential rite as it used to be called. Uh, but for now, this is the first part of our liturgy evening uh, in the late night liturgy shack. Um, I'm Mike Stanley and uh, the settings that you've heard tonight will be available in September, October time on uh, a CD-ROM, uh, an interactive CD-ROM. So you'll be able to print them out, play these videos um, and, uh, and, and enjoy five uh, potentially six new music settings, musical settings of the uh, mass.